Yo, this is Recap Raps. We're about to get you caught up on The Flash Seasons 1 and 2. It's gonna be fast, so try to keep up. Here we go! To understand what I'm about to say, believe in the impossible. A nerdy little slugger becomes speedy and unstoppable. Overcomes a trauma that's so visceral and sad man. Like a melodrama just got physical with Batman. Only difference is the dad's alive in prison. Framed for a murder that a yellow blur committed. Barry's taken in by Joe, one of CCPD's finest. And his finer daughter Iris. Barry loves her unrequited. Crazy sword from the particle accelerator. Barry struck by lightning and awakens nine months later. At a quaint and quirky lab where they lock the front doors. From a young hot nerd. CW, of course. Well, as Kate and Cisco, each a special kind of genius. There'll be miracles of science, mainly just out of convenience. There you have it, Star Labs doing science with discretion. As we continue on, you may have a couple questions. Will Barry find his inner strength as superheroes do? Will Barry find and kill the man who's in the yellow suit? Will Barry finally say that he loves Iris? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out over 22 more episodes. An ordinary guy, forensic like CSI. And he's the fastest man alive Ask Barry Allen Run so fast and possibly No one else has got the speed That's why they call him the Flash, not the only one affected by the tempest Man, the quantity of metas in this radius is endless Faded vapor, electricity, and telepathic mammals Well, some are simply psychic More specifically, Mark Hamill Central cities in a ton of shit On a weekly basis Which doesn't seem like fun It is when Cisco gets to name it You got Weather Wizard, Captain Cold, Heat Wave I wanna try Rainbow Raider Really, dude? Well, I kinda like it Not everyone turned evil, though Some simply changed Ronnie here got fire hands in Victor Garber's brain He's a troubled meta-human And his life is full of sorrow I could delve a little deeper But I'll save it for tomorrow Now, it ain't all superhero things And scientific gibberish Real human stories about family and relationships. Barry making new friends, going out on dates, while secretly he's crushing on his own adopted sister. Wait, but his main objective is the yellow-suited villain. They race a couple times, and my god, god he almost kills him. But with the help of Wells, they can beat him. Shouldn't be that hard. But Wells is from the future, and his real name is Eobar Thawne. Barry's opposite, an evil speed demon, aka in Reverse Flash. Where's Cisco when you need it? Iris is around, she's mostly cavorting with some hot cop Eddie Thawne. Wow, that's important. Barry gets a chance to rewrite his family's history, which could result in death. <gasps> what a singularity. But he chooses not to do it, and he sees his mother die. What? I'm not crying. I have sadness in my eye. Barry fights with Thawne, but he needs a quick assist. So when he kills himself and Thawne ceases to exist. Singularity tornado, certain death is even closer. Barry gets a bit of that. Ah, season's over. Will we find out where and when that silver helmet came from? Will the Barry Iris thing ironically bang on the same drum? Will we see more crossovers across the CW? All of this and more as we time jump to season two. An ordinary guy, forensic like CSI. And he's the fastest man alive. Ask Barry Allen. Once he has him possibly. Super advanced technology Then he can become the Flash save the day, but at Firestorm's expense All the citizens are grateful, only Caitlyn is depressed But Jay Garrick from another world is here to join the lot Although no one wants to trust him, Caitlyn helps him Cause he's hot Putting differences aside, there's a bigger threat to fight with Causing crisis on two words, you could call it Two with crisis Simultaneous realities in parallel places Where their statuses are different, but they have the same faces Jazzy Joe, Scary Barry, Kate shooting ice Cisco has his powers, but he gives off Tushy vibes There's a parallel Wells who is different from the rest Cause he's basically the same, so it's like he never left We'll jump across dimensions, they're still rescuing the city From a talking world and shark and anti-holiday Committee. There's a whole string of apps crossing Flash and Arrow's world. So you probably get less drama crossing Gossip Girl and Gilmore Girls. Burn, but in spite of this, a darker prison snow. Dimension hopping villain that is aptly known as Snow. So obviously evil with that voice and suit of gray. He's a murderer, a monster, and holy shit, it's Jay. So back at Star Lab, there is love inside the building. Wells and Weston Allen all have family reunions. For the time being, all is well and nothing's bad. So Zoom comes in the room and straight up murders Barry's dad. Time for the finale. A race should be enough. And Barry wins because uh, time travel stuff. Everybody's safe, free the prisoner in the mask. It's an old timey flash with the face of Barry's dad. Sending Barry in a spin just as he was getting better. He and Iris talk about it, but they still don't get together. Barry runs back in time, stops Thawne, saves his mother. It's a flashpoint paradox. Your timeline, motherfuckers. That's everything that's happened on The Flash so far. Now you ready for season three? This is Recap Rex, and we'll see you next time. That's why they call him the Flashbang. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you like this, why not check out either of these other two dope videos? And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest Warp Zone content coming at you every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, we'll see you next time. It's going to be huge. Warp Zone out.